بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئرس ٹوڈے وی ول بی ڈسکسنگ اے ناول برن شیڈوز ریٹن بائی کمیلا شمسی فرسٹ وی ول ڈسکس اے بریف بایوگرافی آف کمیلا شمسی اینڈ دین وی ول پریزینٹ اے بریف سمری آف دا ناول سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ کمیلا ناہید شمسی از اے پاکستانی برٹش ناولسٹ شی گریو اپ ان کراچی شی از دا ڈاٹر آف a fiction writer and literary critic Muniza Shamsi and the grand niece of the author Atiya Hussain. She grew up during Ziaul Haq's dictatorship when women's freedom in Pakistan was threatened. Shamsi was partially educated, creative writing at upstate New York and now living in London. She has a BA in creative writing from Hamilton College and MFA from MFA program for poets and writers at the University of Massachusetts. There at the university she was very much influenced by a Kashmiri poet Agha Shahid Ali. She has written 6 novels so far. The recent one is A God in Every Stone, published in 2014, which takes historical post-colonial aspects of the past. The first novel that she wrote at the age of 25 was In the City by the Sea, that was published in 1998. And then her third novel, Cartography, published in 2002 these two first and third novel both were shortlisted for jan levelen race prize while salt and saffron which was her second novel published in 2000 and with this publication she was selected as one of orange 21 of the 21st century writers Cartography and Broken Verses in 2005 have won the Patras Bukhari Award from the Academy Letters in Pakistan. She was chosen as one of the best of young British writers of 2013. The novel Burnt Shadows that we will be discussing today was published in 2009. Let's discuss a brief summary of the novel. Burn Shadow is a historical novel that takes place across four dramatically different generations and locations in 20th century. In the beginning of the book there is one page prologue and in that prologue a man is shown sits naked in a jail cell and wonders how his life has taken him to this point. Then there are four sections of this novel. The first section is the yet unknowing world this section takes place in nagasaki japan there we meet our central character heroko heroko tanaka she is a young woman and she falls in love with a german name konrad now konrad and heroko they both decide to marry but what happens unfortunately before their marriage united states drop an atomic bomb on the city in which Conard is killed and Heroko is deeply injured. After this incident, she decides to meet Conard's sister Elizabeth who lives in Delhi. The second section of the book takes place in India, Delhi in 1947 just before the partition of India. Heroko visits the city where Conard's sister Elizabeth is living with her husband Jacob Burton Jacob Burton is British Jacob at first does not like this new guest but Elizabeth welcomes this new guest and they live for some time there Sajad Ashraf is another character who enters into the story this time he is the legal assistant of Jacob with frequent meetings Sajad and Heroko fall in love and they decide to marry each other but due to some religious restrictions sajad and heroko went to istanbul there they marry and when they come back to india the indian government prevented them from entering india so they both decide to live in pakistan 
The third section of the book starts 35 years after the marriage of Sajad and Horyoko. The story this time takes place in Karachi, Pakistan in 1982. While Sajad has been forced to give up his aspirations for working in law, he has started a business, a soap factory. Sajad has a young child of 16 years whose name is Raza. He is a good student but due to some anxiety he repeatedly fails the important national test for admission so he is waiting for next year to retake the test Raza slowly and gradually starts developing friendship with an Afghani boy Abdullah and they both discuss military training in the camp Raza tells himself that he will help Abdullah get to a camp and then leave him there However when Raza actually arrives at the camp he is horrified to see that it is a rural location and escaping from this place will be impossible for him as he becomes increasingly anxious the leaders of the camp are suspicious of Raza's affiliation with American Harry Burton now who is Harry Burton Harry Burton is the son of Jacob and Elizabeth Now Harry Burton is working for America and he frequently visits Raza's family Sajad Ashraf and Hiroko because they know him a few months later Raza return home Sajad attempts to find him by searching constantly at the fish market however there was a man who was suspicious of Sajad's connection with American due to Harry Burton so he shoots and kills Sajad before Raza returned home now after this tragic incident Hiroko decides to leave Pakistan and they started living in New York the fourth and the final section of the book takes place in the New York and the time which is shown in this novel it is immediately following the terrorist attacks of the September 11 2001 now Hiroko is very old she is living in this city with Elizabeth and they were both frequently visited by Kim now who is Kim Kim is Harry Burton's daughter Harry and Raza they both are working as military contractors in Afghanistan they are conducting different military operations and Raza over there is searching for Abdullah hoping to reconcile with him so many years after their bizarre separation at the camp Raza discovers that Abdullah is working as a taxi driver in New York so he decides and asks his mother Hiroko to smuggle Abdullah to the Canadian border so that Abdullah may then return to his family in Afghanistan unfortunately Harry is killed in Afghanistan by Afghan forces while he was playing cricket with Raza and Harry's other colleagues they are now deeply suspicious of Raza that's why Raza leave Afghanistan and he goes to Canada he asks Hiroko to send Abdullah to Canada but what happens Kim the daughter of Harry she asks Hiroko that you are very old you cannot drop Abdullah so I'll drop him instead of you now Raza is waiting in a restaurant in Canada to meet Abdullah Abdullah is coming with Kim but Kim suddenly feels deeply suspicions of Abdullah's Islamic belief thus she calls the police on him however what happens the police enter the restaurant and they mistakenly arrest Raza not Abdullah when Kim returns to Hiroko's apartment in New York Hiroko is very angry with her for having her son arrested simply out of misguided race profiling they both try their best to bring Raza back from the prison but it did not happen now the person who was shown in the prologue who does not know how he came to this point to this jail may be Raza the son of Hiroko but nobody is sure about it the story and the novel ends here Thank you so much for listening to this summary.